Happy. Wait, this is really cute. Well, you know, this is your first time here, so you know that means you gotta try some wheatgrass. Oh, gosh. Yes. Wait, what does it taste like going down? Grass. No. <laughs> Angela is a dear friend of mine. She is a radio host on Power 105.1, and she also has a show on TV. Ooh. Not bad, right? Brutal. No, it's good. Honestly, other than being a friend, I look up to her as a businesswoman. So I really value her opinion and trust any advice that she has to give me. What's going on with your, um, what? You Don't know what I was about, about to say? My personal <laughs> I knew what it was, was coming. <laughs> so are you dating anyone? Um, the other day I had a date plan with this guy and like last minute I had to work on a project so I had to cancel on him and I felt really bad about it, but I was on deadline, so there was like nothing I can do about it, and it was a first date, so I just felt like at that point there was no like, rescheduling. It's like, you know, it's just- Yeah, but don't assume that. That's crazy. This is what I think. You gotta be open. Mm -hmm. Like, you gotta just be vulnerable. The worst thing that could happen is that it doesn't work out. Yeah, and I'm not opposed to it. I just think that it's me managing like my work-life balance right, right now. But the key word is balance, because it seems like work is here, and life is here. You gotta balance, mm -hmm. right? For a long period of my life, I always put work before guys. Mm -hmm. Like, even if I had a boyfriend, my job was more important to me than my boyfriend. And that probably ruins some things for yeah. me. But it's, you live and you learn, so. Yeah, but look at where you're at now. But I could have still been here. No, I get what you're saying, you're right. right. So it takes some time. Fair. I want to find somebody for you. <laughs> I've been hearing like, a lot of people say that lately, and it's like, no, I feel like I know you well enough. I have a couple of people in mind. Oh, gosh. But one person in particular, so I'm going to actually set everything up. You're going to pick the place? Yeah, here? <laughs> I am. I'm very controlling. And I'm not giving you no information ahead of time. So sometimes, a blind date? Yes, because sometimes I think we have too much information. No, Because no, if no, I no, tell no. you his name, you're going to go on his Instagram or his Twitter. Then you're I Google love to him. Google before exactly. first date. Exactly. No, I think that's the part we have too much information. In like right. putting, letting you put me on a blind date is yeah. wild. I've never been on a blind date. Look at it as an adventure. Sometimes you gotta say yes to what we normally say no to to change our lives. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. All right. That's not okay to the date. That's okay to me thinking about it. I don't know how anyone dates you, Tiffany. <laughs> Hey, it's Leah. Hey, it's Deandra. Craving more So Cosmo clips? Don't forget to also subscribe to stay up to date on everything So Cosmo related from the E! YouTube channel.